Hello there, I'm Dave Allen, I'm good and geeky. And you know they get those times when someone sends you some text or you copy some text from somewhere and it's got a whole lot of stuff in there that you don't want. Like, for instance, a whole lot of blank lines. And you want to get rid of them. There are a few different ways you can go about cleaning up text when you've got a whole lot of blank lines and you just want to have sort of one lot of text and no blank lines in between. Let's have a look and see how we do that with Keyboard Maestro, with shortcuts, with drafts and also with... BB edit. So let's get in there and see what we can do. The best way to do it. Okay, so first of all, let's have a look at BB edit. This is my BB edit over here, and I've got this file here, and it's got a whole lot of uh, text in there, and it's got a line in between, and we don't want those lines. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to search and replace. So let's do find, and that will bring up this here, and we're going to take it to look for places where there's two uh, end of lines. So we're going to have n backslash n so we'll put that in twice and it's going to find all those lines where it's got uh, backslash n backslash n and we're going to replace it with just one backslash n and we can do replace all and i see that tidied up nice and quickly how easy was that then okay so that's uh, using uh, bb edit nice and quick and easy there or we could do it with a shortcut so let's go into this shortcut here okay we've got this one shortcut here it's called take blanks so receive text and rich text input from share sheet, quick actions, and if there's no input to continue. So what we're going to do again, we're going to take to replace backslash n, backslash n, that's the uh, regular expression. And I'm going to get it to put in three x's. I tried to get it to do a replace with backslash n, but for some reason it didn't work. It just kept putting an n in there. And so I've had to sort of add an extra thing to it. But I've got it working anyway. So what happens is, is that's going to spit the text out with uh, triple X's in between each of the lines. But they're not going to be extra new lines, they're just going to be triple X's. And then I told it to split the updated text, so whatever was in here and is updated, and we wanted to split it by the triple X. So then we get that put onto the clipboard. So let's do that then. So I'm going to go into this here, I'm going to do Command A, Command C, and I'm going to tell it to run this here. So I'm going to go to Services. And down the bottom there, take blanks. Looks like he's done nothing, but if I do Command V now, you see that we've got rid of all of those lines in between. How cool is that? Nice and easy. Let's uh, go back into this one here. We've got another one here with the spaces still in between. And I've got another way of doing that, and that's to do it with a keyboard maestro. So we've got this one in here, and it's called uh, Remove Blank Lines in Keyboard Maestro. And it works on the hotkey F9. Okay, and what we did here is going to go for this code here. So this is a token. So line feed, line feed, then replace it with line feed. Going okay, to put it on the system clipboard, and then it's going to say paste. Okay, so let's do that there. So I'm going to get that, and I'm going to select all of it, and then I'm going to press F9. So here we have a conflict palette popping up, and that's because F9 contains a few different keyboard shortcuts. And then all I have to do is choose B, C, P, or R, and R is remove blank line, so I'm gonna click on R. And as you can see, it did make a very good job of it because he's got rid of all of it. <laughs> it's just... I'll tell you why I do this, because I didn't do it, put it into clipboard first. Let's do Command Z. Okay, so this time I'm gonna do Command and Copy, put it onto the clipboard. Then I'm gonna do F9, and then I'm gonna do R. And now we've got there, that's done, okay? So that's another way of doing it, that's cool. Another way that I can get this going is to go to Raycast. So uh, Command Space, and take blanks, press Enter, Command V, and the job's done. Because um, the shortcut is not going to paste it back in again, we actually have to do the Command V to finish it off. Whereas when we're using Keyboard Maestro, it will paste it over the top of whatever you have selected. So do that again. I'll show you what I mean by that. So if I'm in, if I'm in keyboard, use the keyboard maestro one now. So I'll do the uh, command A, do the uh, F9, and then R. That just does it without without any messing, extra messing about it. Just paste it in. You could say, well, I've got to press the F9 and then the R to get to it. So there is two presses of buttons there, but... So you could set it up with a unique keyboard shortcut so it doesn't go to the conflict palette. And that would be one click to do it. One more way to do this. Let's do this here. Let's do Command and Z. If you're using Drafts, I'm not sure if this is a premium feature in Drafts, but um, in Drafts, I can tell it to search for uh, actions. So let's go to uh, blank. And I can just click on double blank line. So if I do a double click on that, job done. So uh, another way to do it. How cool is that? 
I'm Dave Allen. I'm good and geeky. Hope you're having some fun with automation on your Mac. Bye-bye now.